Alright, IGN released the hands-on preview of Black Myth Wukong, which is, I believe, is another, maybe, Souls-like game. I believe, from the looks of it, and from the, uh, I guess, the trailers that we've seen before. But, uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Let's see what they have for us. Since Black Myth Wukong released its first trailer three years ago, Every year on years? August 20th, Jeez. the developer Game Science has shown something new about the development progress of the game. However, what's different this year is that we finally got to play it. My 45-minute demo provided three boss fights and a relatively complete chapter experience. It's worth noting that after the event, the dev team made some looks. adjustments to the trial version based on the feedback and suggestions received during the closed-door evaluation that I participated in. As a result, my experience may differ slightly from what others experienced in Hangzhou and at Gamescom in Cologne. Like this, this looks so cool. Due to time limitations, this trial version did not include the level up system. However, it provided players with a set of skills and equipment that will be obtained in the mid game of the final version. In addition to basic light and heavy attacks, and look at that. the protagonist look at that attacks. Boss. This is definitely like a. It's probably a more. Mm, I won't say more advanced, but for lack of better words. It's probably a more advanced, like, Souls-like game. To basic light Seems like it anyway. It's a lot faster. The protagonist's attack stances can be switched between three different postures, including smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Furthermore, spells such as Immobilize, Stone Solid, Ring of Fire, and The Pluck of Many are also available for use. There are also two transfer... And it also, like... Obviously, in other Souls-like games, you have different classes and things like this. In this, you just have one character, but you essentially pick how you play. And I think that's what's going to make this very unique. And obviously, it's Wukong. I mean, it's Wukong. Formation abilities. One turns you into the previously seen Fireblade Wolf, and the other results in a creature with poisonous attacks. Additionally, players will find and collect certain potions for in-game use. It's important to know that these configurations uh, may vary like slightly scorpion. depending on the different stages. The first boss is named Centipede Gwai, and it appeared in the first 13-minute gameplay trailer released in 2020. This time, it awaits players in a horrible cave. Its attack methods include rolling and heavy punches, as well as the ability to release poisonous gas. This gas inflicts a slow act. Like, could you imagine waking up one day and like having to walk in a room with this? ...poison effect on the protagonist causing gradual health loss, which can only be cured by consuming antidote potions. However, this boss is considered relatively easy overall in terms say, of the first boss is probably super version. easy. After becoming familiar with its attack patterns, most players should be able to defeat it easily. The second boss is the Macaque Chief, as seen in the Snow Mountain of the 2021 like trailer. Monkey, right? This time, players can experience yeah, the monkey. sequence just as it was shown. You can observe how the protagonist's movements and combat in the snow-covered terrain dynamically affect the accumulation of snow in real time. This battle also holds a secret. If the Macaque Chief's health is reduced to half within a certain time, it triggers his second phase. To encounter the monkey with wings, the protagonist needs to venture deeper into the scene. In this... Alright, that's, that's pretty cool. So I wonder if they have that for almost all the bosses. If you can make them half health or if you can do certain things in certain ways that you get like an extra piece of the boss fight. That would be pretty cool and that would definitely like set this game apart from anything state the monkey's aggression attack range and attack patterns all increase significantly it gains the ability to launch aerial assaults against the player making for a thrilling and intense encounter the third boss is the tiger vanguard i was gonna say is that is that tiger from uh kung fu panda look at that is the tiger vanguard who appeared in the 2022 trailer 
This time, the Tiger Vanguard awaits players' challenges Yo, in a blood pool menacing. and a temple. According to the developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone solid skill to the protagonist. Therefore, you will witness him using this skill during the battle. One okay, so this is more like a, uh, a training, per se, to teach you how to use a certain ability. So I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot or probably not a lot, but probably a handful of NPCs like this that you probably have to fight and get your different skills and things of that nature. I wonder if there's going to be a panda. One highlight of this scene is how the water reacts and changes dynamically with the actions in combat. The Tiger Vanguard boasts the highest attack speed and aggression among the three bosses. Not only does he possess both physical and spell-based attack abilities, but his combo attacks also deal substantial damage, making it easy to fall victim to his assault. Yeah, he, the he looks like he's super fast. The experience provided during the Hangzhou event that I played the game at is called Purple Cloud Mountain. The overall scenery is somewhat reminiscent of the in-game footage shown in the 2022 trailer. This is a relatively complete level experience, featuring various environments such as forests, villages, and temples. There are also as many as four or five Yo, types of enemies waiting for players along the way. Don't underestimate these minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fake- He's literally not even staggering them. Oh, look at that. Look how many times you had to hit him. Don't underestimate look at these that. minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fatal blow to the protagonist with a single strike. There's also a detour path in the level that players might not easily find where they can encounter a hidden boss, the Poisonous King. This creature has the appearance of a scorpion-like monster. After engaging in that's, conversation that's with it, players need to break the wine barrel beside it to start the battle. This hidden boss presents the highest level of difficulty in this trial version. It possesses extremely fast attacks, deals heavy damage, and boasts skills that inflict poison on the player. It took me nearly an hour of fighting to defeat it, and there were several instances where I succumbed to poison before being able to use the cure potion in time. And while Black Myth shares some similarities in its mechanics with the Dark Souls series, the combat feel here is quite distinct from any other similar games. In my opinion, See? this distinction arises from the fact that in other Souls-like games, players like typically wielded weapons like swords yeah. or axes, with the grip at the weapon's end during combat. However, in Black Myth Wukong, the main weapon is a staff, primarily held in the middle. The grip on the staff changes according to different moves, creating a varied rhythm and action, even changing the length of the staff in combat. The impact feedback from the staff striking enemies is quite... So I wonder, obviously you have like different stances in the, uh, I guess, in fighting. So I wonder if like the different stance chooses your different powers distinctive as well. Coupled with the support from the spell system during combat, Black Myth Wukong stands apart as an action RPG with a unique feel, differentiating itself from other ARPG and action games that have come before. Ultimately, despite developer Game Science providing a substantial Sam, amount of that? gameplay content in this trial version, there are still numerous questions waiting to be answered. For example, What's whether the, the protagonist possesses any other weapons, how the level up system works and what the skill tree looks like and how many transformations and spells are available. Yo. All of these questions can only be answered once the game is finally released. Speaking of which, Black Myth Wukong is currently scheduled for release in the summer of 2024 for both PC and next generation console platforms. For more on your favorite games, keep it right here on IGN. All right. You've earned this. That was that was good. Uh, I haven't really seen much about this, but I may check check out those other videos. If you guys want to see those other videos, comment down below and uh, yeah, we'll check them out together. Uh, but yeah, that looks exciting. Another Souls like game. I I feel like the end of twenty twenty three and the beginning of twenty twenty four is probably gonna be a lot of like Souls like action RPGs. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. So, uh, yeah. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you know when my next video goes up. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day and uh, peace.